welcome to Let's Go Buffalo. We're here with Robbie Goo of the Goo Goo Dolls, and we're here for the MIA, which stands for the Music is Heart Festival. And uh, Robbie's getting set up for that. He just flew into town. His car broke down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, actually, I flew in last night uh, during that 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 ridiculous oh, yeah. thunderstorm oh, that was we had. That was yeah, crazy. and then uh, yeah, I got here and um, worked. Uh, I rehearsed with a band full of fourteen-year-olds, which I'm playing with Sunday night. <laughs> and uh, then I came back here and we puttered around the parking lot until six this morning, and uh, I went down and started doing TV. So. And I've been on a press junket ever since, so here we are. Oh, great. You huh? got me after like 20 hours, dude. I'm rolling. He's riled. Mm -hmm. He's ready to go. Mm -hmm. right. Now, how many years have you been doing this? Uh, I have been doing this festival now for three years. This is the third year. Um, uh, the first year, um, we had about uh, 9,500 people through wow. in two days. Second year, we had 35,000 through in two days. Cool. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's going to be a hot weekend, so we're expecting yeah. a lot of people down here. Now, uh, basically, how many bands you got rolling this weekend? There's 40 bands a day uh, in, on the main two stages. 40 bands? How many? How, how often are they going to be playing? Uh, how, long each, bands, how long is each band going to be playing? Bands do, bands do three songs each. Really? Yeah, and they back and forth between the two stages. And uh, that goes for... Uh, from 10 until 10, we also have an impromptu area that you can just show up and you can play your dog if you like. You can play anything you like. You can play a harmonica, you know, you can bring a, uh, you can bring a uh, plunger if you play that, whatever you like. And uh, you can just come in, you can just come in and sign up. Uh, they, they also have uh, a kids area here this year, which is, uh, we're going to be doing uh, CDs. The, you know, the kids can go down and sing on CDs. And oh, that's cool. Then they go design a record cover for themselves right, right, and, right. and they can take that with them. Okay, now everybody appreciates the Goo Goo Dolls are from Buffalo and the, the tremendous effort that you had to put in to, to get where you are today. Can you tell us a bit about the history and what's your favorite moments of the past? Uh, well, the first 10 years and the second 10 years are completely different from each other, you know. Uh, but um, I would say that, you know, some of my fondest memories of this occurred in those first 10 years, you know. Um, it was much like a, a club clubhouse kind of situation right. back then you know uh, our favorite band sold six seven thousand records so we weren't in this you know for a living we were in this because this is what we wanted to do this is what we enjoyed and um, through some odd series of events uh, some will some will uh, claim it was Nirvana I'm not quite sure what it was but in some odd series of events uh, it's turned out that uh, bands like us you know can make a fairly decent living so uh, the second ten years were pretty groovy too you know uh, you know, the second ten years were filled with, uh, you know, arenas and buses and, you know, hotels right. and, you know, but the, the first ten years were filled with uh, very interesting people and punk rock adventures and, you know, things that uh, I can't talk about on nice shows like this, so. <laughs> well, sure you can. You can say anything you want. <laughs> But anyway, everyone, I mean, I would say that the, the, a boy named Goo is what broke out for you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah that absolutely, yeah, that was the time, and uh, a little bit disheartening, as we were talking about earlier, you know, we uh, had our first big, big hit record, and uh, I moved to New York, and I got myself an apartment in Greenwich Village, and I was laying around one day, just loving my life, and I got my record statement after we had sold about a million and a half records, and I still owed them about $500,000. Did you ever pay him back? Oh yeah. oh, yeah, in spades, brother. <laughs> in spades, no, you know, uh, but luckily, you know, uh, lightning struck twice for us, and, right. and uh, you know, we're back here, and uh, fairly lucky, I think, you know, after going on 20 years now to still have a career, you know, oh, sure. it's pretty groovy. Sure. And we'll see you in this weekend, up on stage? Absolutely, you know, we have, as we were saying, 80 bands here, you know, and 78 of them are from Buffalo, you know, from the western New York area, and, um, you know, I think the thing that's the most uh, striking to me, you know, at, at being, you know, I live here part-time, you know, I live in California part-time, and, you know, every two years I'm gone for two years, so, you know, I see an awful lot of places, and, you know, the thing that always strikes us about this place, you know, like, uh, I recall playing in, in Stockholm, Sweden one day, and, and it's sort of something we do every night. We sit from the back of the room go, hey man, is there anybody from Buffalo here? And, and as God is my witness, there's, there's some guy in Stockholm. Yeah, from North Tonawanda. He's like in the back yelling and screaming, and we're like, oh, of course you are, you know. But my point is, is that, you know, that this is a city that you got to work your nuts off to make something work, man. You know, I mean, if you, if you want it to work, you got to work, man. And, you know, there's creative people here, there's incredibly motivated people here, but they all go somewhere else. Yeah. And situations like this 
But what I'm trying to achieve here is, is I think, a, a pretty decent model to show how you can take all these elements that are, are, are by themselves pretty cool and put them together and make something that's just unbelievably cool. You know, by combining all the talents and by combining all the, 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 the desires and wants that the people in this town want, you know? If you bring all those things together, it's not that difficult of a fight anymore, you know, because you got an army with you. You were outside. Yep. You think I do this thing by myself? Come on, man. You <laughs> I know, was amazed at the That's an army, man, you know, because they believe in this and they love this idea, you know? And like I said, those are why everywhere we go, there's some another successful person from Buffalo that's not here anymore, you know? So we just gotta make something happen. And, and, and as I said, I think this is a pretty decent model of cooperation, you know? Well, for right now, we're staying here. Well, we're you're trying to make, all we're, right. We're trying to make something happen. You're all right. <laughs> all right, Robbie, thanks for uh, joining us today. Absolutely. Yeah, let's go, Buffalo. Very nice. All right, very cool. That works. Let's go, Buffalo! Let's go, Buffalo!